everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing look number three with the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. So starting off, I'm taking a la mode, putting that in my crease and in my outer V and I'm fluffing it outwards. Of course, this is going to be my transition color. I will link my first two videos in cards throughout this video if you guys are interested. Next up, we are taking Love You A Latte and I am concentrating this in the outer V and in the crease. I'm not going as far up as I did with a la mode. This is just strictly in the crease and in the outer V. And of course, I'm blending and blending it out as I go. So today's gonna be a purple look. I'm going in with Spice of Life, which is a really pretty cooler toned purple. And I'm packing this on in the outer V and in the crease. This is my Sigma E25, love this brush. I, I can't live without it. Even though in my last tutorial, I didn't even use it, but that's like, that's very rare. So yeah, I'm just packing that on. Of course, blending and blending out. As I mentioned in my first two videos, these shades Oh my god, they blend so well. So if you mess up, which I kind of did in my in my second video, I mean these shades are so easy to blend that you can easily fix your mistakes. So now I'm going to be taking my concealer that I'm using for the day, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm just going to be concealing the inner portion of my lids. And I have a little bit of a hooded lid, so I just look up so I can figure out how far up to go with my shimmery shade. Speaking of the shimmery shade, I'm picking up Want a Piece of Me and packing that on right on top of the concealer. Unfortunately, I completely forgot to refocus my camera, so I mean these clips aren't horrible, but they're not exactly perfectly clear, so I am so sorry. Once I put that glitter on my lid as usual, I like to just blend it out a little bit with my crease color. And then um, I'm putting this pinky shade, it's called Oh My Gourd, <laughs> and I'm putting that right in the inner portion. You can't really see the difference from far away, but up close you can you you see the pink um here i'm just doing the same thing to my other eye i do refocus shortly so i'm so sorry i'm just putting that that concealer um on my lid and then again going in with one a piece of me and then oh my gird in the inner corner and yes i just said oh my gird i just re-listened to my voiceover and i was like that's not the right name oh my gourd i'm not gonna redo that voiceover guys it takes me forever so I don't know, maybe we can laugh about it just a little bit. Now I'm going to, of course, blend everything out. Don't ever be scared of blending, guys. It just makes the eyeshadow look a lot more smooth and everything. So it is concealer time. Oh my God, that's horrible. I'm using the Elf Hydrating Concealer, like I mentioned previously, and I'm doing my regular concealer routine. Looks so good. This is like a wearable purple eyeshadow, I think, in my opinion. I'm setting that concealer with the Ethereal Setting Powder by Too Faced. And then I'm gonna be going in with the lightest shade in the palette called whipped cream and just blending out the edges of my eyeshadow and also highlighting right underneath my eyebrow. I have been dying to do like a winged eyeliner guys but I do not have my physician's formula eyeliner. I ran out and I haven't been able to purchase it but today I decided to take Spice of Life and just lightly run it across my upper lash line just to give my eyes a little bit more depth and then of course I'm taking that same color putting it on the outer third of my lower lash line and then taking a mixture of a la mode and love you latte and just blending that Spice of Life color out. Spice of yeah Spice of Life. <laughs> and now I'm going in with this Maybelline eyeliner that I found. I thought it was a cooler toned purple from the packaging, but it's actually more violet in my Instagram picture You can see the color a little bit better in my waterline here. You can't really tell unfortunately I'm taking my favorite mascara mixture right now um, the essence false lash effect and then the Maybelline colossal volume express um, Coating my upper lashes and then just lightly hitting my bottom lashes and then the look is complete guys I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked this purpley look um, Like I said, I have two other videos that I will link in cards and down below if you'd like Thank you guys so much for watching. I really really appreciate it. I will see you in my next video. Bye